All right, so uh, this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising weekly general tarot reading, Mar uh, April, I'm sorry, April 13th to uh, April 19th, 2020. And in case um, any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you want to learn to read tarot cards and uh, you like the way I, I do it, you can sign up for my tarot classes in which um, they are live, of course. And in them, I'm going to explain you for now all the major arcana, how to read them in terms of career, in terms of relationship, in a positive and negative positions in spreads. And hopefully you're going to have, you are going to understand them in a way that you can relate them in any kind of question that it is within their capabilities. So, first one for you, uh, Libra, which is the topic of the week, that is to be the Tower card. Moving next, we have the uh, energies that are feeding and supporting the topic and the situation. Uh, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. Afterwards is going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome here throughout the week, that is uh, the Knight of Wands. Followed by the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy here, that is to be the uh, Justice card. Afterwards, we do have the impression that you are living into the people around. That is to be the impression of the Page of Wands. And the final one, which is the guidance the Tower is offering for you. That is to be the Nine of Swords. Okay. So those uh, those six cards here. I don't know if you, if you can see them. All right. Okay. So... Uh, Energy-wise, throughout the week, Eight of Pentacles is actually a really good energy and completely um, annihilates, if I, if I can say, or disintegrates the negative aspect of the Tower card, which is uh, very unpleasant in certain um, circumstances that are asking you to transform in the sense of that you get to a, you you have to adapt basically to the circumstances that doesn't happen for you luckily throughout the week that that is because with the eight of pentacles the energies are you are to be you are to be given at least time to prepare not to mention that those energies are going to um push you into more meticulous, um, how can I say it, more meticulous incorporation or performance, if you will, so you can attend to every single minor detail of the way the world is changing or the way your situation is changing. I, change is not exactly the word that I should use, more like a transforming, which is a completely different thing, because changing is uh, more oriented in tarot by changing one thing with another while transforming in this world, things are evolving, okay? So for you, the things are to evolve throughout this week. And you get to attend to the all the minor details in there and having them the way you wanna have it, okay? In one movie, I uh, I was watching this comedy scene where um, the the owner of the company asked that why you know why we can't make what we want to make the way we want to make it. Well, it does look like that uh, throughout this week you are going to have it that way. What I mean is that you can't make what you want to make the way you want to make it. But there are a few conditions and they come from the energies and not just only from the energies, but as well from the challenges also. But from the energies are the most important ones. Um, now first of all, like I said, you need to um, trust your keen eye for the subtleties in there. OK, but minor details are what exactly what can bring the whole structure down. The other thing it is that uh, those important events, they need to be addressed with a huge amount of conscientiousness. Very important with the Eight of Pentacles. And once you do so, what the, those energies are going to allow you to do is to start developing a, um, a plan or a thing or something you wanted to, de to develop for quite a long time. You just didn't have the circumstances right for it. But this week, that is very real to happen. And that is exactly the situation here with the Tower card. Because those energies are allowing you to um, shape those circumstances the way you want them to shape, to be shaped. That's why you do have a full control over the transformation. Now, what you do not have control over, though, 
it is the field that the transformation is going to take place and this is where the poignancy of the tower card falls and it may not be as severe as you think it is okay it may be that you want your career to grow but it may be that this week it is where your career it's a flat line it doesn't move neither up or down but instead your relationship life takes off okay you meet someone that uh, it is completely um, devo uh, devoted to to follow your lead and you get to shape the circumstances in there the way you want and this is where you do have your transformation it is just the poignancy of the tower card it is that most likely you're not going to have it the way you want to have it but nonetheless you're going to have that opportunity for a growing so be on your watch it is what my call for you is libra because any kind of opportunity, if it is a good opportunity for what it seems with those cards, it's worth exploring. Uh, with the Tower card, though, so the poignancy, what, what we were talking about, uh, this uh, could be uh, something that could highly uh, takes away your motivation. And that should not be the case or kind of like you should try to even artificially keep it up because at the end, the tower card has always cleansing and healing effect upon one's life. And if I have to follow the example I started, you know, maybe it's not taking place into your career where you want it to be. But as it takes place into your relationship, going further in life in the future, your relationship may supplement your career in one or another way. For example, I uh, giving you the the connections you need in order to sprawl in career okay so you don't so we don't know toward what end that growth is going growth is going to take place the only thing we know that it's from one from this single field that it is transforming right now all of your life can actually find basis on okay so it can be a foundation for the entirety of your life moving forward into the future um and lastly it may require from you to rebuild. What I mean is that uh, it may shatter your your situation and it may uh, request requires from you to pick up the pieces and once again meticulously and with a huge amount of conscientiousness rebuild them but this time around the way you want them to be rebuilt. Um, next one is going to be the challenges that you have to overcome. Now, that is a, a person here which takes a participation into the, uh, into the endeavor. And the challenge is not to trust them. What I mean is that they look very enthusiastic. Okay, They look very enterprising and it seems that they are ready to go to the very end with it. So it, it does speak for a cooperation. But the thing is that they right now are finding it very interesting, okay? But as soon as their interests evaporate, they are gone and they would not care um, in what kind of a situation they are leading you into. Uh, that is the worst with uh, the Knights of Wands, that they are not consistent, you can't really rely on them, that they will support you when the shits really hit the fan. And so, uh, the challenge um, in the grand scheme of things here with uh, the uh, with those tarot cards, it is that you should not place your hope based on first impressions. Okay, but always test the person how devoted they are when it comes to a a struggle. Because Knights of Wands, they tend to how can I say it? They they tend they tend to run away to forlorn. In the face of struggle, difficulties, challenges, and etc., etc., they are only with or with something or someone while they their interest is maintained. And as soon as the interest is gone, they are gone as well. So they have no sense of obligation, no sense of uh, uh, of uh, how can I say it um, responsibility. So next one, it is the uh, gifts of the universe here, the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week. We do have the justice card. So uh, the gift is that the justice uh, law and order are to be uh, incorporated. And um, in the last class, we do have the justice card and it was a, a very good question that have been addressed. So one of the courses says okay so justice says justice law and order are in place that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to be in your favor 
that's true. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a very common mistake. For example, someone comes to you and uh, for a reading or comes to a tarot reading for, uh, to, for to a tarot reader for a reading, they ask, you know, um, I am going through a divorce. What do you see? They draw just this card and they say, oh, you're going to be just fine. You know, you're going to have everything you want. That's not true. Justice says justice will be served. You are bad in the marriage. You're going to get bad outcome from the uh, from the divorce law case or whatever, you know. Or, but if you were a good there, you have fulfilled your responsibilities in it. Well, then you are to be justly served, you know, with the custody, with the, uh, for example, um, I don't know how you say it in, a, in America, the, the payment that one does to the other that it is taking care for the kids. Uh, child support okay so with the child support and etc etc so just as law and order for you uh libra are gonna be in place here and uh, therefore we can safely say that you are to be gifted with the results of your labor previous labor pre previous efforts and previous actions and decisions but above everything else uh, in a more practical uh, incorporation with the justice card it, it, the gift is that you are going to have time for everything and as we said you're going to have a lot of things to do throughout the week you know many minor details that you need to attend to and you will have the awareness the, the astute discernment here to identify which one requires your immediate attention and which one can wait and therefore you are to shuffle them in a such a way or uh, structure them in a such a way that you will have the time the energy uh, and as well the means if you will to push them through or rather like finalize them to their maximum efficiency uh next one it's uh the impression of the people around and that is the uh, page of wands so couple of impressions, first of all, and they are connected. First impression, it is that people were seeing you as an individual who is ready for something new. And as we saw, you are to evolve, okay? You are to transform a situation of yours. It's about to transform, which is to be a solid foundation for the future of your life. So people were seeing you, seeing you that you are now ready for a something new and which is connected to this something new it is that you don't have to share it with anybody okay you are strong enough on your own and you if you can't place your trust into anybody around you do not need to place your trust there this is however how the people see you okay that doesn't necessarily need to be true so uh if you lack for example intimate life with this card um that is because uh, people are seeing you self-efficient, okay? That you do have plans for the future, but they does not include anybody. So, um, I don't know, those who are looking for love, I could advise you based on this card that you should try to become a little bit more uh, accessible in a sense of that, you know, um, keep up with the, converse, with the conversation a little bit more openly. I, I, and try to show that you want to connect because people do not know that looking at that card and the last one um, is the guidance and that is the guidance of the nine of swords so we say the tower card usually accompanied with very unpleasant symptoms you will have a lot to do but at the end of the day you can shape the, your circumstances the way you want to shape them uh, the Nine of Swords here points that you have nothing to be afraid of. Eventually, you have to face certain fears of yours. And, and mainly the car represents a couple of fears. Fears of failure or fears of being left alone. So once you face those fears um, by uh, accepting that actions bear their consequences, which is dictated by the Justice card here, at the end of the day, you are to identify that at the end yeah at the end of the day you're going to identify that the outcome is inevitable and you better have it sooner than later because once you have it you can work out with it whatever the outcome is you can work out with it luckily for you libra the outcome is going to like we said have a cleansing and nurturing effects upon your whole life so that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading, April 13 to April 19, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, 
Uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to see a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as well um, if you want to learn to read tarot cards you like the way i do it i am also offering a tarot classes a live tarot classes uh, in which i am explaining for now the major arcana how to interpret it in terms of relationship in a numerous type of questions how to interpret it in terms of career in a negative way in a positive way and in the in the positions of a dedicated spread spread that i'm using for my private readings and also it's suitable for reading only with major arcana uh hopefully you're gonna stay safe now and uh, we're gonna see each other next time until then bye